at the Americana Museum, we try to show progress in various instruments. And this is an early American shovel made carved out of all wood from one single piece of wood. Next is uh, primarily wood, but it has a metal tip on it. Then comes the all steel shovel, and of course it was more uh, substantial than the wooden ones. T today we use primarily what we call a round pointed shovel because it is more practical than one of these flat edged ones. And naturally, this is the aluminum one now because it's lighter in weight and it is the primary shovel that's used today. This is a modern rat trap. It's called a can't miss four way trap. This is a homemade trap, humane trap, in which when the rat entered, he could not get away. This is a manufactured trap, but it's a little more crude than the modern traps, and it worked like that. While this one is a, also a humane trap, when the rat entered here, he tripped the lever, and he was caught in this area, and no way to get away. disc music box. It is played something similar to the player piano. It has the holes in the reels, only this is just a disc, about 12 inches in diameter. All right, this is a phonograph. It's played with a needle and a cylinder type record. Here we have a classic Victrola, which was in everybody's parlor. This one was a little bit different because of the wooden needle. You didn't have to worry about it, whether it was sharp or not because you had this little instrument that you sharpened your own needle, then you could play your record. Here we have a little gem roller organ made by Sears and Roebuck about the turn of the century. <laughs> It's very rare because there are only about nine of them made. However, it's the first vehicle we know of that has the rumble seat. And I'll now tell you why it's called a trap buggy. The only, the only entrance to it was when the driver or the passenger raised the seat. But once you were in, there was no way out. So therefore, it's called a trap buggy, and theoretically, you were trapped. Well, while we got you trapped in your own buggy, this Americana Museum here in Terre Alta, you've got thousands upon thousands of objects. Is there any one central idea behind all this? Probably the portrayal of the early American farming and early American living. We attend primarily uh, farm sales in the area, and uh, we found the number of times people are selling uh, their farm. They sell out everything they have in the uh, barns, around the barns, all the farm equipment, machinery, and uh, of course their household goods. As much uh, stuff from your own family in the museum? We have quite a number of things from our own family, and that was really the beginning of the museum, was, the, uh, was keeping these things that belonged to the family. You think we're losing a lot of the things that you have here in the museum? Yes. That's the only thing that adds value to them, is because they are becoming scarce. People have thrown them away, just like I did, my mother did, so forth, and uh, now we realize that because they have hold some uh, inner value for us, we are interested in uh, keeping them now. What is that inner value that it holds for you? Well, that's a tough question, Bill. Uh, it's a matter of, uh, I suppose we like to read books, and uh, why do we watch Western movies? They, those things happened uh, 
hundred years ago, but we still like to watch Western movies. We like to think that we were there. We like to think that we remember those things, and if we don't, uh, that our parents or our grandparents used them, and we often wonder how, how they got along with them. It's uh, a little unusual, however, to find that the quality of so much of those things, so many of them, the quality is so much better than things we buy today. The metal that was used in them, the uh, workmanship was very superior. And that's the reason we have things like this trap buggy that's in excellent condition. If they were put together as we put them today, it wouldn't put it out in a heavy dew and it would uh, be gone. <laughs> Perhaps uh, the value of these things have increased. They are increasing all the time. For instance, uh, mason jars at one time uh, sold for uh, 50 cents a dozen at a farm sale. And today I've seen them sell as high as three and four or five dollars a piece for a particular mason jar. Clem, I've got here the 1921 Montgomery Ward catalog and needless to say, the Americana Museum, this is the original version. But of course, in recent years, we've seen these old mail order catalogs being right. reprinted. Why do you think there's suddenly this interest in Americana? Apparently, uh, some of us as we grow uh, older are more interested in things we had as a child, things that we saw working when we were a child. However, apparently the young people, for some reason unbeknownst to me, have a very keen interest in these things and preserving them. If you wanted to start this collection over again today, if you were just beginning, could you do it? I'd have to have a bigger pocketbook and a lot more time and patience because it's more difficult now to find these things than it was five, six, seven, eight years ago. So I'd hesitate to start again. <laughs>